Hey, yes, Joe again, and welcome back to Mortis Shell, where we want to learn together how uh, loading the game works from the main menu because I forgot to click the button, bef button before. Yeah, we respawn at the last sister Janessa we were at. It was also her face on the wall where we got our first checkpoint. But we just reached the Fulgrim Tower here before uh, uh, before ending the episode. And we already got instincts of where the other shells are. Let's learn about the other weapons. This looks like a big boy sword. Big boy sword. Ah, when we go down there, we saw that path. Then there will be a burning statue. And some tower in the distance. This also looks like a big boy sword. No, this really looks like a sword. The other thing must be a spear then. A ah, big sword. When we go towards the tree, through village towards some ruins somewhere. Uh-huh. And the dual weapons. We found them in the catacombs the last time, but that's not where they truly are, I think. Okay. Doesn't tell me anything. Uh-huh. This is also looking already a bit obsidian-y towards that tower where that one shell is. Okay. That's the same direction. Let's look at the workbench. We didn't re acquire anything we need. A second spike. An empty shell channel. We need a mechanical spike for that special attack. Quenching acid to, to up its damage. Uh, we need tours to repair Ballista Zuka. And then we have, we need solemn offerings for tarnished sea runes and a forbidden offering uh, for to resolve, uh, resolve acquisition boost. So these three are towards our character and these three are towards the currently equipped weapon. So this was what we saw from some different place. No, we, which we saw at the big end of the last episode. Oh, we get this seal. I thought I wanted to talk to the bird, but... Both symbol and weapon, the seal is rusted and filthy. Ah, that's better. Thank you. It's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. You seem different, untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you, save for that tarnished seal in your hands. A small gift, but I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me, so I can extract the true nectar, just enough to heal me. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land, before you end up like me. Okay, we're supposed... Can't we talk to you anymore? Okay, can only talk to person once. Uh, maybe because of this left bumper to parry and it will warn us of, of unparryable strikes if they come in. Seal infusion healing. The old prisoner has infused the seal giving your... Uh, that's, this is the old prisoner then. The old prisoner has infused the seal giving your parry the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. Seal requires great resolve to harness such an infusion. Performing an empowered repost will heal you. Uh, if I have resolve, I can do a better attack after the parry. Okay. You're back, empty-handed. 
I didn't go away. I'm afraid I have little to offer you without a plan to prepare. Okay, we need to return with the gl uh, with the glands that are somewhere in some temples. Did I get that as an item here? Yeah, probably somewhere over there. No, that's not, not an equipment, it's an Ikea item. Both similar in weapon, the seal is rusted and filthy. A symbol of infinity, the seal is a faint shadow of its former self, but the etchings pulls when blood sticks its face. Okay, so we went around a bit to... and saw another merchant. Where was that? Around here? Then up? Yeah, like that, okay. Go so up here. We can see the bird from behind the old prisoner. But here we have the most important NPC of them all. That's so important. So, speak with Vlas. My, oh my, aren't you a rare specimen? Rather dashing in that curious attire. And what if on the inside? You must be a gentleman. Certainly not one of those boorish fanatics. Welcome then, I'll warm some tea. In the meantime, why not take a look at my wares? Wait, yes. I'll gladly accept any tar as payment. Okay, what can we buy here? Roasted rats, which were great healing item, inferior moonshines, large bolts. Large bolt, for what is that? Pierce of the bolt is unused, just kind of... I have no idea what that is. Throwing knives? Perhaps? Scripture of Euphoria. I have no idea what it does. Then we have a golden bell. A bronze bell. A simple loot. Why would we get another simple loot? Quenching asset. He has two in stock. It costs 2.5k to get, the, get it. Then an effigies of heroes. And the two is. These are the two is needed to repair the ballista Zuka. Uh, he wants 8,000 for one of those. Do you have new dialogue when I come back to you? Welcome back, my splendid friend. Shall we engage in some rousing commerce? It's my pleasure. Okay. Guys here aren't as talkative as in Dark Souls. Could go down there to go back to them again. I think we're done exploring here. So, back down here there were like three hollows over here. Let's learn about parry timings. Let's learn about parry timings. I already heard that. We got a tar spawn. Did they despawn? Ah oh, no, they were there. Okay. Tar spawn will cap. Let's use that tar spawn. Ah, we don't have it on, on quick. Because this should already be alright. Those for me are gain immunity poison damage for uh, 120 seconds. So we already. We only had to poison ourselves once with that. <coughs> and we're now immune to its normal effect. So through there was one of the shells, it said. Let's learn what's here. The old prisoner sits contently atop his perch, awaiting the news. The unborn must be greeted with gifts, but gifts they will bestow in return for unwavering loyalty. I thought this was... Oh god, what was that? I don't even know what that was. It's not there anymore. I thought this was a place to go to, but this actually isn't. I really should be on the lookout for those... Oh god! 
it's it's the fucking big frogs. Okay. Chest is lo what is that? They put a lot of stuff in here to warn us from going there. Getting another glimpse. I should have taken the one where we heal when we get a glimpse. Then we would have healed now. Putting the... Fuck you, game! I've been just at that place like half a second ago. That's why I didn't look. Hate it. I hate the, the traps. Okay. I was wanting to learn about parry timings, but I don't think it's a wise idea to do it against that guy. Is that the boss that we fought at the end of that? Um, I tried to use the item. Thank you. What? Okay. Oh god. What? I was... Hardened! I was hardened! The fucking thing grabbed me out of the harden! What? don't really know what this is about. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I get it. The loud noise is supposed to warn you about not going that way. I get it. Uh... You're awake. Good. Please, take this mask. It's not unlike my own. It reveals the way of all flesh. Beyond life and death. Where spirits pass across the threshold. But your spirit is bound here. Unwilling to go on. Perhaps it has an obligation left to fulfill. Very well. Okay, so uh, we just got that item. That's um, not the homeward bone. That's the um, curse thingy. Use two more times to reveal further details about this item at the cost of all your glimpses. I suppose that it does not cost me glimpses. This is not where I was was thinking this would be going. It's going another way. I need to get my uh, stuff back. It's just costing glimpses though. And not costing... Um, oh, they haven't respawned. Both of them? Okay. Um, it's just costing glimpses though. And not costing... Um, not costing tar. Let's try Grisha once more. Wasn't that that boss that was in the ice place? Ah, yeah, I remembered what I learned about this guy. No, wrong one! Wanting to use the weight cap. Hey! Got the shell back. Ah, the weight cap is running, okay. Wrong button! Wrong button all the time. Using too much stamina. Wrong button! A 
quite the mechanical spike and ignoring this guy for now. Oh, fuck, freaking hell. Freaking hell. And running back over here. Are you following me around or are you staying in your boss arena? Okay. <laughs> That's also a way um, to she's that. Did we just heal by going back in here? Or did we heal by picking up our shell? Normally we don't heal completely. Apply weapon enhancement. Upgrade the weapon with a mechanical spike. Spike that can be embedded within the hollow sword. Gain enough resolve from attacking enemies to attack a powerful weapon ability. And we got some resolve for free. Problem is... Um, problem is... I don't now know... Yes, taste. I think we need to go into this menu once to get a, uh, get a thing back. We'll need to look when we have the last, the next time when we get ejected from. Um, really need to look at the compendium again. Not mechanical spike. General stuff. Ah, to, nah, the There, tutorial. There, LB and RB. Thank you. Uh, when we uh, the next time get ejected from our shell, we'll have to rethink about a lot of stuff. Hey, Biabi. We got iframes during that. What the fuck? He keeps breaking my harden with something that's not supposed to break the harden, I think. Wow, how did I miss him? B is the button that I press. I'm pressing the fucking button game. Okay. Don't have any weight caps left. Don't know if the game pauses on main. Oh godding! Oh god, fucking kidding me! Does game pause on menu? Yes. No, it doesn't. Thank you for for giving me the implication that it does by freezing and dissolving all the game around me. Okay, we got it below half health. So, if we fight it for long enough, uh, we'll be able to do that. And I think almost most of that damage wasn't done. Most of that damage wasn't done by the spikes. Fuck you, game. I'm pressing the fucking button multiple times because I need to press it twice to get away. And I pressed it four times there. I wasn't out of stamina, but the game just didn't want me to roll. I pressed the fucking B button four times there. So we don't respawn with full resolve, I suppose. I've we just got those. 
Um, yeah, we just got those four resolve bars uh, from acquiring the Mechanicus Spike, not from actually doing something there. I want to defeat that guy. Look around for traps. I don't know how the traps are set up here. My character is standing around doing nothing, has stamina left, but is suddenly not able to do anything. Like now. Fucking hell. Fuck you, game. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not what happened on the screen. I. Uh, I pressed the B to get away. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 what? New attacks, okay. Getting a new attack every now and then is fine as long as I'm allowed to press my fucking buttons and the buttons work. God, stamina. Okay, this guy is problem. He's costing me my entire episode. Thank you for healing me. I think that's the one that kills me directly. Well, this one is okay. Okay. He sometimes does like a backhand attack that's really putting me off balance. That one. That one really can catch me off guard. Fuck you game. Fuck you game. I am doing wrong. I am doing wrong. I'm doing the wrong dodge. Fuck you game for adding two dodges. Two different dodges and very specific attacks that the one dodge box works on and the other doesn't because of the follow-up attacks of the enemies. Okay. I've kept your flesh safe. 
them. Yeah, nobody cares that you kept, uh, kept it safe. I want to fight that Grisha over there. Don't like how... side of him trying to go around him the other way normally okay using the double roll only to get away never use it to dodge around him. Yeah, I was hit by doing the jump attack instead of the normal RT that I normally do in this place of the combo. Okay, I can play with him now. I got his patterns down. I know exactly what he's available uh, able to do. And he only gets me on weird stuff like that. Okay. One dodge too many. Got him half health again. Don't roll around him, Joe. Only on the heavy attacks. Roll away from him on the normal attacks. Fuck you. Fuck you, Joe. Fuck you, Joe, for deliberately rolling. Okay, it's the thing. It's the thing. In the bottom left corner, there is a, a white dot normally there in that empty circle next to where the Harden thing is. I'm not using the Harden mechanic anymore, I just realized. Edge of the screen. I was with backed towards the wall. Reach, 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 reach. And we got Grisha. Finally. And we got six glimpses and 800 tar. There's a place to crawl in. There's a lot of new stuff to discover. But let's go back to our shrine. We 
spent an entire episode just fighting that one fucker. I want to at least get, get something out of it with the glimpse and the tar acquired. Sip this. We need 120 more uh, tar to get another glimpse. Uh, to get uh, to be able to use the glimpses to get the thing that makes us get more glimpses that's what i'm talking about so we could try defeating guys that we've already seen or we could just try to continue and see what grisha guarded here not because he would want to only guard the chest so there's also a crawl space two crawl spaces to the left and right And also in lower wave way to go. With another crawl space. So he guarded three crawl spaces. Uh, that's where we came from. Okay, let's go into the right crawl space then. Since we went back, we have our dot in the lower left corner again. I saw it when we uh, when we were thrown out of the, our shell that it started blinking. Hearing a loot. I'm hearing a loot. I'm seeing a group of heavy guys. Uh, with one heavy guy. We might want to approach this from the other side. I hope that the map makes sense in terms of how these attach to each other. But I suppose they need to because there's no real loading in between. Okay, let's go to the upper one. Okay, this is around some corners. There's a lot of these crawl spaces in here. I hope I don't get too lost uh, because my map knowledge will go down if they because you lose all sense of direction when this is constantly turning left and I'm thinking like yeah does it return to the place where I came from I have no idea one guy okay Fuck you, game. Really? Fuck you, game. You f freaking asshole, game. Wrong button. This one. One more attack, thank you. Thank you, game. I need to... <gasps> no, not not into the things. Because I think the chests insta-kill you when you are uh, out of it. Ooh. Okay. There's a second of us. Just kidding. Just... Coming away. Thank you, no. Can I? I can't return. It goes faster if you press and hold B. Okay, that's good. But this is still way too long. Let's de aggro that guy over there. Because there were two more guys there. That's not nice. Can't you just give me, like, a simple item as a reward for Grisha fighting? I just want a simple item for the reward as a reward for fighting Grisha. So this one was blocked. So maybe this is interesting. One of those guys, huh? Didn't we have one of those as a boss enemy? He's guarding the shell. Okay. Apparently not. This is an unknown shell, yeah. Inhabit that one. 
Okay, at least we got a sanctuary. That looks. That one looks even heavier than the share we are actually own. Uh, we 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 were owning before. Than Harris. Unknown share. The man is more than just a sleeve. Yeah. What we do we know about the second share? More durability, same stamina, more resolve. And we must uncover its name for 500. Ah, uh, this shell doesn't have glimpses. And as this shell doesn't have glimpses, we are able to use that item to go back. At the cost of all your glimpses. Oh god, no. All your current glimpses or all the glimpses on all shells? Let's see. So this, one of those is me. That one was this guy. And we can go back to Harris. Do we go up to nine glimpses now? Yes, okay. Nice, 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 okay. So let's learn the name of this shell and let's see its abilities. Yes, taste the truth. How are you caught? Solomon the Scholar. Existence is a curious... Ah. Existence is a curious matter. The greatest triumph in the universe. Gifted and squandered. I shan't make the same mistakes as my brother. When the moment comes, I'll exercise restraint. So he needs way more glimpses to upgrade his stuff. No, just 500. A chance to heal on using a weapon ability to slay an enemy. I think these are universal. No, Solomon. Hmm. When talking to an NPC, Solomon gains a segment of resolve. That's interesting. And we also got an effigy to go along with Solomon. Um, let's see if we can get those two items again, if they respawn. I think Solomon has more stamina. Didn't it say differently? Stamina looks actually fairly similar. He has more resolve bars. And he's apparently more durable. He might be slower. But the roll is quite okay. I think it feels like it's using less stamina. We might, we might be rolling with Solomon in the future. Um, we can't afford to buy anything with Harris, so we'll start exploring further. There's so many ways to go, I don't even know where to start, it's too open. It's too open as, uh, as a starting area, I think. But uh, I'll go around and explore more in the next episode. Have a nice day, see you then. <laughs>